So hello and welcome back, I'm Sean. If you have kids who also happen to love listening to music, then I think you're gonna love this. So jumping straight into what I like about these headphones, there's really a lot to like about these headphones and here's a quick rundown of that. So the first thing I like about these headphones is the size and, and all of these headphones are aimed for children aged 3 to 15 years old. Uh, I can actually fit them. So the ear cups are a bit smaller as you can compare to a larger uh, headphones like the Soundpeed Space and if I were to turn around you can see the difference in the ear cup size. So the Soundpeed is actually a lot bigger and this is a little bit smaller. But even with that in mind, if I were to stretch it big enough, I can actually fit in them. But the ear cups are a little bit small for me, but it still totally fits me if I want to. So another great thing that I like about these headphones is that it's packed with a great chipset that will last you for a couple of years and it comes with a Bluetooth 5.4 chipset supporting both AAC and SBC codec. So another great feature with these headphones is that I like the volume limiter where it says to have about a maximum of 85 decibels of safe volume limit. So even if your kid maxed out the headphones, they're not going to be damaging their ears too much. So maxing it out, the volume I rarely get over 80 decibels actually and I mostly see it hovers between 70 to 75 decibels for most songs and this is with 100% volume. So the battery performance is also something that I quite like especially for children's headphones and without ANC it's rated at 60 hours of battery life and with ANC on it's 35 hours and just like any other headphones if you run if you run out of battery you can also plug them in and use them wired. So there is also quick charging here on this headphone so a 10 minute charge will give you a cool 5 hours without ANC. And to that point yes you also get and see with these headphones which is pretty nice so if you want your kids to not hear you even more uh, i mean to not get distracted well, when they're using it for their calls or their class then this is a pretty good headphone oh and another thing about these headphones that i like is that it's super durable and kid proof you can twist it and you know i clever say so you can just twist it around like that and it's, and it's going to stay in shape and not get destroyed which is really nice so this headphones is also not perfect and there's one thing that i really like to talk about is the headphone sound quality and the sound quality here is not the best and I do think that it's kind of muffled here and there but again this is for a kids headphones so that's pretty much the only cons that I can talk about for these headphones which is pretty impressive for something uh, at this price range for a kids headphone. So with all the pros and cons that I've talked about this headphones is actually very value for money because it comes in at only $55 or about 250 ringgit which is honestly great value. So if you find value in what you hear now and like what you see so far, I hope you could support the channel by liking and subscribing to this channel. Uh, probably ring the notification bell so you know YouTube can pick it up. And if you want to buy these headphones, do check out the links below. So how does this headphone sound? So I would say decent and for a $55 headphones, I would say that these headphones would probably satisfy most kids without much complaints. Uh, but just to share with you how it actually sounds like. So these headphones have a very basic, slightly muffled sound signature. The headphones does generate a good amount of bass and the ability to render those really low sub basses from doing it right is really impressive as well. Uh, they're not deep rumbly, but it generates it well. So mids here is very recessed and I can hear it really buried with all the other frequency and I wish that it could be tuned a little bit forward. So this is like more extreme V shaped kind of sound signature. So if you like that kind of signature, then yes, this is for you. Highs is also pretty muffled, nothing too impressively sparkly here, just basic highs here uh, where I feel there isn't much clarity there. So all in all, a decent sounding pair of headphones where I believe most kids would feel happy having their own pair of ANC headphones. So this is a test to see if the iClever BTH20 Kids Headphones is a good headphones for making phone calls. So this means speaking in a relatively quiet environment and this is the call quality that you can expect. So what I'm gonna do now is to turn on a similar tobacco noise so you can hear a difference. So now there's a similar tobacco noise playing in the background and this is the call quality that you can expect from these headphones. So what do you think of the call quality? Let me know in the comment section down below. And moving on to the design of these headphones, as mentioned, you're getting an ultra flexi frame and a very nice PU uh, leather headband here. So here you get leather. Uh, I think this is very high quality and well built and you get about 10 clicks of extension here. So if I were to pull this, you see each uh, link actually gives you like two clicks. So you, that's 10 clicks per side. And the headband also stretches really nicely. So the headphones also swivels and rotates and it fits your head really nicely. So you also get a nice memory foam ear pads here which is really comfortable. And inside you also get the left and right 
uh, indicators. So most of the controls are on the right ear cuffs and you get the volume button. So it's very big and very easy to see. Uh, you do get that volume control. So the plus and minus uh, volume control, which also acts as track skipping as well as a big MFB or multifunction button for powering the device on or off, play or pause. And there's also an ANC button on the side of the ear cup. So if you press this, it'll toggle through the different ANC options. Ports wise is also really simple and you're getting a type C charging port to charge up the headphones as well as a 3.5 millimeter port to use the headphones wired and if you use the wired option you're not going to have ANC or other controls so comfortable volume starts at around 55% volume and moving towards the 100% volume mark this get decently loud pretty loud with some music but it's still within the 80 to 85 decibel uh, mark where it is marked as safe volume limit for these headphones to protect a kid's ears so it's also nice that iClever is putting in a mild ANC on these headphones and I understand the purpose of uh, of probably not having them too isolated. Uh, I know firsthand now kids can get very distracted, especially when they are in the zone. So not having too strong an ANC can actually be beneficial for them. So the low humming noise cancellation, such as airplane cabin noises or road noise test gets reduced about 8, 50 to 60%. And with music playing at a moderate volume, you can still hear those hums coming through, which is good for awareness, especially for kids. And in a noisy cafe test, these are understandably not as strong. And I would say it cuts out about 40 to 50% of the environmental chatters and you basically can still make out what others are saying with music it does get drowned out uh, but you need to play them close to its max volume so there isn't any transparency mode on these headphones and you get to choose between ANC off ANC low or ANC high so with that I'm giving these headphones an ANC performance of 6.4 out of 10 so latency performance here is surprisingly good and I think that the Bluetooth 5.4 chipset does play a part here uh, there isn't any gaming mode on these headphones but you do get very good latency latency when playing games like PUBG uh, and very very low latency with movies and videos. Anyways, let's take a look at the latency performance of these headphones. Overall, very good headphones for kids and yes, the ANC could be a little bit stronger but it's made for kids and you don't want them to be too isolated so I understand that. And also sound quality could be a little bit better and I think the amount of innovation and good points about these headphones simply outweighs the con. So if you want to check out something really high-end from Edify, I think this next video here is going to be something that you would want to consider if you're looking for a high-end audiophile headphones with all the codecs that you want. So the Edify Stack Spirit S5 is what you need. So I'll see you over there in that video.